Hi guys, quite a lot of people asked me about my Android system animations and how they can get them for themselves. And I think it's time for a how to video because I get asked it so often and I always have to answer by text. But what I mean, as you can already see, it's about those system animations, but it is also, as you can see here, for the keyboard animations. But it also can regulate practically every system animations you have. It is not just limited to that. There are two easy ways to get it. And what you will need for both of them is root. So the first solution is pretty easy. Flash a custom ROM like for example Madi, which has already the animation control. And here you can already see which animations you can change and it is quite a lot. You can change the CRT animation for the shutdown animation and for the turn on animation. The toast animation, the system animations, this would be all the windows transition animations. Then you have list view. This is the scrolling animation I showed you. You can even change the scrolling itself, the keyboard animation and also the progress bar. But the progress bar is something a bit different, which isn't possible with the module I will be talking because there is a second solution, which is called XUI mod. And for that, you will need exposed framework, which I will show you how to install. Now, what you will need, you will need to download the exposed framework first. So as you can see here, the link will be in the description. Follow the link and you will see this link here. Exposed latest APK. Download the file, go into your file explorer and install the latest APK. What you have to do now is enter the app and you can already see this is what you will see first. What you have to do is now go into framework and hit install and update. It will prompt you to update, just update it. And once that is done, reboot. And once you are rebooted, your exposed framework is already working. What you will need now is one module, which is called XUI mod. Just enter XUI mod and you will already see it. It's same as installing an app from a Play Store. Just download and install the app. You will need to restart again. Just restart and once you're restarted, enter the app. And here you can already see it is pretty much the same as on the custom ROM, but the differences are in the animations and the options you will get. Animation control also, that is again all the Windows transition actions. If you go into list view, list view as I showed you already, this is the scrolling animation. And the ones you have here, I won't go into all into detail because it would just take too long. But what you have is wave, scale, alpha, stack, unfold, fold, translate, rotate in Google now. There are a few more here in the module than on the custom ROMs, but this is always something that can differ. You also have the interpolator. You can change the duration, which you can normally do on custom ROMs. There are a few rare ones that have it, but otherwise mostly it doesn't work. You can also always test the animation so you don't have to enter an app just to test it. This is no problem. You can blacklist the apps. Then you can also change the IME animations, which are for the keyboard, as you can already see here. And there's also a bunch of available ones here, as you can already see. The list is pretty long and you can really customize your system to your likings exactly how you want it. You can also change the toast animation here. Also a bunch of options here and also the ticker animation. So that's it for all the animations. If you use all those, you can customize your system completely and make it a unique experience just for you. And I think this is a really powerful tool because it just enhances the overall experience of Android. So everything seems just nicer and different. And, and I think that's a really nice thing. Most of the people wanted to know how I do this. I usually use the custom ROM features, but if I'm lazy, I just use the exposed framework because since I already titanium backup all the infos, I don't need to change this every time. But so that's for this. If you have any questions about the installation, if you didn't know how to do it, I think it was pretty easy. But still, if you have any, just put them in the comments below. And otherwise, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, reshare this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye. I'll be back.